here today we are going to discuss about introduction to c sharp basics c sharp program structure for console introduction to c sharp basics firstly we are going to uh, understand who developed the c sharp and who has given the approval for this particular programming language c sharp is a modern general purpose object oriented programming language it is developed by microsoft and approved by two organizations one is european computer manufacturers association and another one is international standards organization c sharp was developed by the scientist anders hasselberg anders hasselberg did a wonderful work to design this compiler for c sharp with his team this all product will be assigned with was assigned with dotnet framework and all the time the new progressive features come day by day accordingly and included with the dotnet framework c sharp has evolved much since their first release in the year 2002 the first release was evolved in 2002 but it was not a professional release it was just for testing purpose it was introduced with dotnet framework 1.0 and current stable version is c sharp 7.3 and preview version is 8.0 c sharp is a wonderful platform and every time we will have some new features and it is updating accordingly according to the requirement of the market and currently we are using c sharp 7.3 and its version even now we are using 8.0 but this 8.0 having some uh, more activities to be uh, defined but some is under testing mode not all the completed features so that's why we are saying it is preview version c sharp is designed for cross language infrastructure which consists of executable code and runtime environment that allows use of various high level languages on different computer platform and architecture this particular point is very important because c sharp has a ability if you develop an application with c sharp you can run with in any environment and this dotnet framework you can execute on any environment to make the applications and the applications for windows web mobile everywhere you can use this programming system and this programming language c sharp supports for all why c sharp is used as a professional language because it is a modern general purpose programming language it is object oriented component oriented easy to learn structured language efficient program you can produce with it it can be compiled on a variety of computer platforms it is a part of dotnet framework these are the some points these are the general points why professionals using c sharp in this manner in a good manner now we can see the basic program of c sharp structure this program is only the simple program to print the hello world here we can see c sharp program we cannot design without class in c++ we can design this program without class but in c sharp we cannot do this activity so firstly we need to declare a class program inside the program class we have taken a main method here we have taken some keywords static void and this is a main method and then string args this is the argument array of string type inside the main body we are using a namespace system dot console is a class name write line is a method and we are passing a string here to print the statement hello world so we understand this thing without 
the reference we cannot do here anything so the reference is where the right line is a method from the console class and console is a part of the namespace system system is a root namespace here system is a root namespace and this namespace having a collection of classes and this class is having a collection of data and behavior behavior means method data means variables and this is the simple string whatever the string you are typing here within the double quotes this string directly print on the screen on your system now close the main body then close the class this is a very simple program so we have used here the keyword like class static void system console these these are all we have used a specific way now come to the description of this program class class is a keyword which is used to define class program is the name of the class a class is a blueprint or template from which objects are created it can have data members and methods here it has only main method static static is a keyword which means object is not required to access the static members so it saves memory it is a very important part in c sharp program actually whenever you want to run a program you want to execute first the main body because main is a initiation point of executing a program main is only the only the method in the program which is first called by the compiler but we don't have anything before executing the main body means without executing main body we are not able to create any object so we are not having anything to create the object so how can we trigger the main how can we initiate the main body in this regard shisha compiler is inbuilt with the static keyword this static keyword when we put with the main body we don't need to create a object to trigger the main main will be automatically triggered when we put the static keyword with it and because the static keyword is not creating any object so it is not consuming any memory so that's why we are saying here so it saves memory and it is fast in nature it is not taking time to create the object but i want to say one more thing here we cannot say like that every time we should use a static keyword with all the methods yeah we are using with the main method because we don't have such type of implementation before executing the main body and we can create object we cannot create object without executing the main body so that's why i want to say here one thing static is a keyword we will use for main but not all the time because it also loses the it also loses the security of the product so we we make sure where we need a security of the product we will call by the help of object we will create a object for the particular class and we will call the methods and data members of the class with the help of object we are not doing all the time with the static where we don't need the security feature we can do the task with static keyword and static keyword is highly performable as well as it saves the memory now the void keyword we know very well what is void because we are using this keyword from the last programming languages void is a keyword means void means empty means it will not going to return any value if you are putting void with your method means it does not return any value so <clears throat> you don't need any return statement with the void method the main name i told you already main is the method name and it is the entry point of the c sharp program whenever we run the c sharp program main is invoked first before any other method it represents the start of the program the string array args this args is a identifier you can change this name by any name it is not compulsory you will put here args all the time 
but by default our compiler is giving args here so it's your choice string args is used for command line argument in c sharp whatever the input and output variables you are using all the values first saves to this array and then it will come to your input and output as well so while running the c sharp program programmer can pass values these values are known as arguments which we can use in the program whatever the values you are using all the values will first store to the string arg array is a string type array and whatever the output you want it will be save in the variables and this variable value will come as output to display on the screen console system dot console dot write line hello world what is the meaning of this i told you this is the write line method from console class and from system namespace system is a root namespace here system is the namespace console is the class defined in the system namespace and write line is a static method of the console class which is used to write the next on the console write line is a static method that's why we don't need to create any object to call the write line method so we understand this these all the methods are static now this is the simple program just uh, we are saying here if the programmer writes using system before the class it means programmer does not need to specify the system namespace for accessing any class of these namespace so we are not bother about to write the uh, system with the console if we are using system if we are putting the using system before the class program so we are not bother to write the system with console class so here programmer is using console class without specifying system dot console so programmer is using only the console class without specifying the system dot console here it is only the expression here now using public modifier programmer can also specify a public modifier before class and main method now it can be accessed from outside the class we know very well in the c++ also we did it if you are using a public keyword before the class then you can access this class in different namespace and if you are putting the public keyword before the main method you can access this main method outside this class to another class in the same namespace okay so if you are talking about the class public then you can access to the different namespace because namespace is a collection of classes and if you are talking about the method public means you can access in the same namespace this method with the different class so this is the way to accessibility by the public if you are not putting here public if you are not putting here public with the method or the class name it means by default it is private so private members cannot be accessible outside the class or outside the namespace now using namespace programmer can create class inside the namespace it is used to group related classes if you want to categorize the uh, classes very well so we need a namespace at that time because with the help of namespace you can make sure the collection of similar type of required classes in one namespace under the name namespace umbrella and it is used to categorize the classes so that it can be easy to maintain and uh, the programmer not bother about to be uh, to be the similar type of data together this data will be automatically together by the help of one namespace with similar collection of classes with similar requirement of classes thank you